Okay, everyone, we'll get things started with Nebraska coach Amy Williams. Coach, if you'd like to make an opening statement and then take questions. Yeah, this is a tough loss for us on our home court. We want to take care of business here. I, I thought that, um, you know, we showed some fight down the stretch, getting down 17 and cutting it back to a four-point game. But uh, the truth is, you know, against a team like Iowa, um, you can't dig yourself 17-point uh, deficit. And I just thought that... Um, we had kind of a stretch there where we didn't shoot very well from the perimeter. We continued to settle for outside shots. We didn't necessarily take advantage and, and get all the point points in the paint that we really wanted to. And um, and uh, it came back to kind of bite us and, and you know, just a, a tough loss. And, and uh, we're going to have to learn from it. First question for Coach Williams is from Derek Peterson from Hale Varsity. Hey, Amy. Um, you want to do it on, on the defensive end, but it, it looked like there were times where they just hit tough shots, either late in the shot clock or tough shots over contests. Did you feel the same, or how, how did you feel overall the defense was tonight? Yeah, I mean, I thought that there were a few times, like, you know, obviously there to end the second quarter where we gave up a layup up over the top in transition and, you know, a few things where we didn't really take care of of uh, business the way we wanted to and, and do our job in transition defense, you know, but um, there were plenty of times where, um, where, you know, they would, you know, hit a really tough deep three uh, late shot clock. Just, um, you know, we, we can do a better job and, and learn from this and, and hopefully uh, make some tweaks and adjustments for the next time we play Iowa. But um, they did hit, uh, you know, tough shots. And, and I thought uh, McKenna Warnock in particular, Caitlin Clark obviously hit some, several big shots and, and was tough to defend. But it seemed like McKenna Warnock hit a couple late shot clock at the buzzer uh, threes where we'd played a pretty good possession of defense and then it ended up in her hands and she'd, um, you know, spark them with a huge three. Next question, Shane Gilster from Huskers Illustrated. Say, Coach, uh, what's your impression on uh, freshman uh, Caitlin Clark? This is the first time you got to see her this year. Yeah, well, she was very efficient tonight and, and um, you know, I thought, you know, obviously 39 points is – um, is is pretty special uh, effort from anybody, any player, much less um, you know a freshman. But I think you know the the most impressive thing was just her efficiency, and and it only took her 18 shots to get there, and um, you know she double double and and you know seven assists, and you know she just found a way to really um, really you know impact the game. Next question, Brent Wagner, Lincoln Journal Star. Yeah, on, on defending uh, Caitlin, what's the balance between if you give her some help, then you know, then, then she can pass and find somebody for an open three, or she can find somebody for a layup. How do you how do you try to balance what she does with assist and scoring? Yeah, I mean, I think that's the challenge. I think that's the thing that um, makes Iowa very dangerous is just that. Um, you know, they have a very efficient uh, post player, number one in the nation for field goal percentage. So that's a nice um, kind of anchor down there inside. But um, they surround Caitlin with so many shooters that as soon as you try to give some help or shade her way or try to, um, you, know, sque you know, squeeze over to, you know, to give a little bit of support help, you know, she can find uh, really good shooters and, and they can knock them down. Shane Gilster, Huskers Illustrated. Say, Coach, um, Iowa is averaging 88 points, or yeah, 88 points, 87 points, and they got 88 tonight. Uh, was there a, a, a threshold that your defense, your team, kind of wanted to hold Iowa to tonight to, in order for you guys to come out with a win? Well, yeah. I mean, we talked about that, you know, we wanted this game to be in the 60s. We felt like if the game's in the 60s that it was going to be pl uh, played to our advantage and that um, that would be the the type of game that would give us the best chance to win. And, and knowing that this is the third um, scoring offense in the country right now as far as points per, points per game, um, you know, we, we we really didn't want to let the pace get to a point where, you know, we were trying to outscore them. Um, so obviously we, you know, we, we gave up 88, which is actually above their average. And, and we know we can't do that and be successful against a team like this. Thomas Cotto, Daily Nebraskan. 
So, Coach, with about five minutes left in that game, you were down 78 to 61, but then your team was able to crawl back to a 78-74 lead. So how did you feel about the fact that your team, despite being down by that much, didn't give up and was able to cut the deficit down to four? Yeah, um, I feel good about that. I think that it shows a lot about um, character of a team and character of uh, the people on that team when um, you find yourself in those situations and it would be very easy to kind of crumble and take a 17 point deficit and turn it into a 20 to 24 point loss. Um, uh, but I think that uh, this team is, is uh, a group of fighters and, and you know we know that we can't dig ourselves into 17 point deficits and still be successful, but um, but uh, we also know that you know we're never going to die and we're going to continue to fight and fight and fight. And and I thought we showed that um, you know late in this ball game and and continued to stay aggressive and and continue to fight. Derek Peterson, Hale Varsity. Uh, Maryland's coming to town next. What do you want your group to focus on over the next couple of days to prepare for them? Yeah, I mean, I think that the biggest thing is just, you know, finding ways to get better. And, you know, the message really doesn't change is that we've got to find a way. We, we kind of feel like our team has is, is, uh, found a little bit of a plateau. And if we don't find ways to keep getting better and, and pressing forward and uh, correcting some of the mistakes that are costing us in ball games, then, um, you know, there's not there's not going to be anybody else left on our schedule that um, that we can have success with. So um, we're just going to come back tomorrow and find a way to get better and, and uh, you know, go about our preparation like we do every other game and, and find ways to, um, to continue to improve this time of year. Brent Wagner, Lincoln Journal Star. Are there, uh, on defense, are there things that you were doing earlier in the season when you were holding teams to 70 that, that you need to get back to doing? Um, you know, I think that there are some things that we were doing well, and I think, you know, we were really having our most success. We were holding teams to, um, you know, one opportunity. I felt like, you know, in those stretches, we were really um, – not giving second chance points, not, you know, we were ending defensive possessions with rebounds and, um, and that was, you know, kind of a, a key to us getting defensive stops. And it feels like, and a little bit of an Achilles here, uh, heel here lately has been, you know, giving up a little too many um, offensive rebounds and second chances and, um, you know, points in transition and, and a few things like that. Any other questions for Coach Williams? If not.